So, Abby and Wall is our um, keynote speaker for today. So, over to you, Abby. Okay. Nebbia Wall. And if four years ago you would have told me that I had the opportunity to attend the University of Scranton on a full ride scholarship, I wouldn't have been able to work for a second. Coming into Crystal Ray, I was a shy freshman girl trying to figure out which room my algebra class was in. And now I'm trying to figure out which college courses I should take. This is all very surreal for me. And frankly, I couldn't have done it without the love and support of the Crystal Ray community. I can honestly say that Crystal Ray has been a big part of my development as a person. Since I started here as a freshman, I have learned and grown so much. Being a Crystal Ray student is challenging, though it is also rewarding. In addition to my college preparatory classes, I have also been involved in various clubs and sports, including the girls' soccer team, student government, which has taught me how to be a part of engaging in my community. I have also had the opportunity to work at four different companies throughout my years at Crystal Red. I have learned so many skills that I am bringing with me to my future career. I have made lifelong friends, and I know that I always have a home at Crystal Red, even after I graduate. My journey has been touched by so many faculty here. I've known my senior, my senior English teacher, Mr. Nelson, since I was a freshman in house. For those of you who don't know, House at Crystal Ray is our version of homeroom. In house, we focus on community building, activities, bonds, to students all across grade levels. During my time, Mr. Nelson has been a constant presence, and I adjusted to the transition from eighth grade to freshman year and he's always checked in with me, asking me how I'm doing, and he's continued to do that throughout my four years here at Crystal Ray. The continuous love and support he has shown through my, here at my journey at Crystal Ray has never gone unnoticed by me. Not only has he supported me on a personal level, but his classes has challenged me to become a better writer and communicator. This is especially important for me because I'll be majoring in journalism and media at the University of Scranton. Since I was young, my dream has to become a broadcast journalist covering international news on live TV. I have always admired reporters because they shine a spotlight on the experiences of others and tell their stories to help call attention to injustices in the world and inspire change. Through this job, I'll also be able to travel abroad, experience new cultures, and meet new people from all backgrounds. College is the first step to this journey. Crystal Ray has played a big part in putting me on the path to success, from challenging me academically, to offering individualized college counseling help to find the best fit for me financially. I was able to tour the University of Scranton campus on a trip organized by Crystal Ray, and I instantly got the same feeling I did when I stepped onto Crystal Ray's campus. As a community, we focus on the four pillars. We believe, we dream, we lead, and we serve. Because of Crystal Ray, I believe that I can achieve my dreams and do anything I set my mind to. I've become a leader on the soccer team and in student government. And I've also had the opportunity to help younger students. I've learned the importance of giving back and leading by example. Thanks to the entire Crystal Ray community from my work study experience and to my supervisors and teachers like Mr. Nelson, I have transformed from that shy girl to a woman ready for college. As partners in our mission, you are also a part of our pillars. Our mission here at Crystal Ray is to nurture, challenge young people to recognize their full potential. Your service to our community and your, our, your belief in our students give the gift of a Crystal Ray education that ensures students can have big dreams like mine and set us on the path for success. And I want to say thank you especially to my scholarship partner, Ms. O'Donnell. And I want to give a special thanks to you all for contributing. Thank you.